Hey everybody, welcome to another Tech Hero video, the hero for all your tech related problems and needs. In this video we're going to be doing video number four on how to speed up your computer. In this one we are going to be cleaning out um, files uh, such as your cache, um, cookies, and things like that. And there's two ways that you can automatically do this so you don't have to go through and do it all manually, which is nice. The first way is using uh, CCleaner or CC Cleaner. Everybody says it different. It is a free uh, program you can download. And then Windows also has one built in. I'm on Windows 7, but as far as I know, almost every version of Windows has it. It's just maybe a little bit different to get to, but I'm sure you can figure it out pretty easily. Um, the first one we're going to be uh, doing is I'm going to show you, and that's the one that Windows has built in. So we're going to go down down here to your start menu. You're going to navigate to computer or my computer, whatever it whatever yours is. And then you're going to uh find your hard disk drives, your hard drive. And in this case mine is drive C. It's the one with your operating system on it. And almost every case is going to be drive C unless you've changed it. Um you're going to right click on it and in this dialog box that pops up you will go down to the bottom and you should see properties you're going to open up properties and then you're going to um, be able to close this one out if you want to and when you have this up um, under the general tab you should see where it says use space and free space in this case my use space is 187 gigabytes and I still have 730 gigabytes um, free, but that's not going to stop me to do this because it also makes your computer run slow when you have extra things on your computer you don't need. I typically try to do this every week if I can, but if you do it once a month, you're still doing good. Um, <clears throat> you'll see like this little pie chart looking thing where it shows my use space compared to my free space, and by it you should see a button that says disk cleanup. We're going to click that, and a box will pop up and it will say it is calculating and this may take a few minutes to go through well that's doing that I'm going to show you the other way you can do it either way there's no need to do it both I'm just giving you two options here open up your internet and you'll want to go to Google in this case Google is my home page so I can just type here and I'm going to type for C cleaner so C C L E A N E R and like I said it is free and you'll see it pop up and the website is P I R I F O R M dot com uh, pyroform dot com I believe um, you'll see it here it says CC cleaner PC optimization and cleaning free download that's what you want and then it'll take you to their website and you'll see this uh, nice download button here it may be a little bit different depending on when you're watching this video but regardless you're going to want to download it and yes you want the free version um, of course you can buy it or download the free trial if you want but uh, there's really no need we can just go ahead and use the free version so I'll click download for the free version and it will start downloading and I already have it on my computer but uh, to help you out I will walk you through the setup let's check on this and see where we're getting alright we're getting somewhere with that it looks like it's about half done and this is getting close to it is small it's only just right under uh, 5 megabytes which is not much at all when that's done downloading um, you can <clears throat> open it up do you want to allow the following program to make changes to your computer and by changes is wanting to install this yes you do we can exit out of the internet because we no longer need that okay and then um, it is asking to select a language and English of course next and this is all up to you um, I recommend you just leave it all checked as is because you're going to want the desktop shortcut um, and then you'll just uh, click on install and then we don't need to view the release notes but if you don't want to check it then you don't got to it's whatever 
but you do want to go ahead and run it of course and then click finish and we don't need that up and uh, this is what it looks like it's pretty straightforward and simple and it is nice it tells me what my computer is I have Windows 7 home premium 64-bit SPI on my computer and I have an Intel i5 3210M uh, CPU and it's at 2.50 gigahertz I have 8 gigabytes of RAM and an Intel HD graphics 4000 uh, graphics card even if that doesn't make any sense to you it's still nice um, if anybody ever asks you what your, your computer has you can just open up CCleaner and it's gonna tell you right here anyway back to the functions have all this checked automatically uh, the things you can't the things you can't check um, are either in the uh, pro version or that is not really necessary that they don't recommend so we'll just leave everything checked that's already checked and we will run cleaner this is usually pretty quick but like I said I do it every week so anyway it says uh, 51 megabytes removed and it tells all the details but it says cleaning complete and it took 2.6 seconds and it took off 51 megabytes that's quite a bit um, so we're done with that now back to the one built-in windows we was doing um, this pops up and it says recycle bin we can just go ahead and uh, click all this clean up system files and there's going to start loading again hopefully both of these things are simple to you guys pretty self-explanatory from now on and you can you can do it yourself but there's a there is always this video if you need to be reminded how to do something that's what this video is for okay now it's done we can click OK and yes we want to permanently delete the files that's the whole point of this and that's all there is to it and you can exit out of this I always recommend you can uh, right click on your recycle bin and empty the recycle bin and as always like these other speed up your computer videos um, I do recommend you go to your start menu and you're going to want to shut down or restart depending on if you're wanting to get back on the computer or not. But anyway, that is it and that is how you do it. Hopefully it's simple and I helped you out. And uh, Go to www.techhero.net for more videos. The hero for all your tech related problems. You can submit your ideas or if you need help on anything, we, will, we would be more than happy to make a video for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Have a good one.